Hi, everybody. Jesse Roberts, uh, Senior Vice President of Compass CyberGuard. Uh, I'm here to discuss uh, the recent announcement that uh, Google and Yahoo kind of made about uh, DMARC mail entries and um, basically just kind of talk about how you can get your mail records up to snuff uh, with SPF records and DKIM. Uh, so let's kind of go over that quickly now and see what that looks like. I'm going to launch into um, uh, Firefox and I'm going to use a handy tool that I've used for many, many years called MX Toolbox. I can't tell you how many countless times this tool has saved my butt or helped me figure out somebody's issue. So let's take a look at it now. So uh, real simple, I'm going to put in Compass CyberGuard, which is our uh, domain for the Compass CyberGuard security services, and I'm going to do an MX lookup. Okay, so right off the riff here, right, we have, oh, hey, this looks like it's a Microsoft 365 mailbox. Our preference is zero. And you'll notice here that we have a DMARC record published, DMARC policy not enabled record, DNS uh, record published, right? So it's looking to check these tests, and we find that, hey, our, our DMARC record was found, our quarantine reject policy is enabled, and the DNS record was found and published. In addition to that, there's also... Um, SPF records and DKIM records. I'm going to go into each one of those first, but this all comes from basically creating DNS entries. So let's go over what those look like real quick. Okay, so I have logged into our domain naming uh, service provider, which in this case is GoDaddy. Uh, you'll have to look up who your domain naming service provider is before you go ahead and make these changes. And if you're not sure, uh, that's something else you might want to figure out, right? Who actually hosts uh, and owns your domain and then even manages your domain name records. Um, there's multiple services out there. GoDaddy's pretty popular. The, they were made popular by their um, ads, I think, in you know the 2000s with uh, Danica Patrick. But hey, you know I digress. Let's talk about what we're here to talk about, and that is SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records. So uh, kind of, and again, this is how you set these up. It's all in DNS. Um, there isn't really any other changes you need to make. So let's kind of scroll down and let's find uh, first my SPF record for Compass CyberGuard. So scrolling down, what we're looking for is a text record. So that's kind of what the um, SPF record has to be entered in. As. So in this example here, right, we have a text entry, right, at our domain. And it's very simple. It's V equals SPF1 include SPF protection outlook.com dash all. Now, I highly recommend you go and read what these re records do. Basically, what it comes down to is they're extra checks to make sure that people aren't uh, spoofing your mail and that um, your mail delivery is going to be true and uh, safe, right? So, the, one of the first records you want to have in is this SPF record, right? Uh, luckily, we're in Microsoft 365. Uh, so this record matches up. And furthermore, even within Microsoft 365, you can make these adjustments automatically by hooking into GoDaddy. I'll cover that in a moment. The next policy we're going to look at is um, the DMARC policy, right? So the DMARC policy, again, is a text record, right? DMARC1, my policy is to quarantine, send a report to jroberts at com, right? And that is all that is too. Again, it's just another text entry. Okay, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Um, it's it's basically DMARC at our domain, and that's it. That's the other record you want to make sure that is in your domain naming system. Now, finally, there's another part of this, and it's a little more complicated, and it also kind of depends on what platform you are on for your email services. But we'll cover. Um, DKIM. So those entries are actually in what's called a C name format. So let's take a look at those. Here's one right here. C name, selector one, domain key, selector one, compass cyber guard, etc. etc. Now I'm not gonna show everybody the full uh field to that because it, it could technically reveal some information I don't want. But let me show you how we go through uh, Microsoft 365 and validate the SPF record and the DKIM. And then we'll take you to some uh, record generators so you can generate your own 
uh, SPF or your um, DMARC policy. Okay, uh, here we go. I've logged into Microsoft 365 with uh, domain, well, I'm sorry, uh, global administrator privileges, uh, and I want to be able to access the domains to kind of look at uh, the DNS records. Again, Microsoft 365 is really nice. Uh, they are able to generate the proper records you need to go up into DNS services like GoDaddy, um, and it, it does it in a couple of clicks of a button. Uh, let's take a look at our domain Compass CyberGuard here. So uh, nothing really needs my attention. It does tell us where uh, we're managed by. Uh, let's look at DNS records. So again, um, it allowed me to go ahead and publish um, the SPF, um, the C name record, and the MX record itself automatically, which is great because it leaves a lot of, uh, you know, room for error. It eliminates the room, uh, eliminates error being produced by somebody uh, putting in something wrong. But uh, that's the one nice thing is it does generate this SPF uh, record, which is again the sender policy framework. And once again, I recommend that you read up on what these policies are doing for you. Okay, so that one has been uh, already created. It's been verified. Uh, I could also, again, use that MX Toolbox tool to go ahead and uh, check these records and also um, help generate. So um, moving forward, though, the SPF record has already been created for me. Uh, but if it wasn't, I could go ahead and click SPF Record Generator. And I could go ahead and either check my SPF record for the domain here. And if we scroll down here, we see that we do have a record that exists. Um, and this is the suggested record. So um, looking into it, it does match exactly what I need, but if it didn't, you would simply add the DNS entry into your DNS provider. So I'm going to just uh, quickly bounce back over. And it'd be very simple. Add. We're going to do a text record. The, uh, the host name would be just this. Some domain providers um, make you put in an actual name uh, to have it. So, But if you just put the at here, it's going to pull the value of the full domain. So it'd be at compass cyberguard. And then the value is that string of characters right here. Copy and paste that in. And then, uh, you know, I go ahead and save and add that record and my SPF record is generated and it's good to go. So very simple setup also adds that extra level of protection. Again, read more on SPF records. This is just to kind of highlight how to go through. Okay, uh, next would be uh, checking that DMARC record. Again, MX Toolbox has a great tool for a DMARC record generator. You put in your uh, value here, and it gives you um, a recommendation on how to create this DMARC record. Uh, now, depending on um, what you want to do, uh, sometimes it gets, you want to make sure that um, you don't reject, right? You want to run into quarantine because you don't want to start rejecting people. Uh, quarantine is probably the best option. You could also put in accept. I highly recommend quarantine though. Um, so same as the SPF record, you go and you create a DMARC, uh, I'm sorry, text entry for the DMARC, the host name, and then paste this value in. This too is going to be the person who receives reports of um, other domains or IPs trying to spoof uh, your um, MX record or your email records. Okay. And then finally, the next thing I'm going to highlight is the uh, DKIM within um, Microsoft 365. Okay, uh, DKIM records, here we go. Uh, within Microsoft 365, I'm not sure about other email platforms, but they do allow you to manage uh, domain keys identified mail, right? And it's going to give you another set of that security to make sure that your uh, email is secured and uh, it's not spoofed or intercepted or what have you. Uh, let's kind of take a look at how easy it is. Uh, for example, I'm going to use this domain, uh, which doesn't currently have any DKIM records, just so we could see uh, what it's like. So um, click on the domain over on the right. It goes ahead and uh, prompts a new window. Uh, we're going to click Create DKIM I Keys.
And again, it uh, gives you pretty clear instructions on what you need to add in. Um, you, for this one, we're going to go ahead and um, add a C name this time instead of a text record. And I'm just going to show everybody what that looks like on GoDaddy. I'm not going to actually put it in, but uh, your host name is going to be this. Uh, it's going to point to this value, and that's it. Here we go. So going in. So we have our C name, the first one. Again, it looks like this. That's our host name, and then it points to that value. Real simple stuff. Wait a few minutes, depending on your DNS provider. They say it could take up to seven days. DNS nowadays takes about 20 minutes at the most. But once you wait, go ahead and click Enabled, and then all your email messages are going to be signed with Domain Keys Identified Mail. Okay, and finally, uh, you know, I mentioned throughout this video, you know, read up on what these uh, records are and what they actually do. I was going to cover them in this video, but if you go ahead and do, do a search on Compass IT Compliance DKIM SPF, uh, we have a great blog entry from our friends over at Compass IT Compliance who is, uh, you know, Compass CyberGuard is an affiliate company. We're, we're basically the same thing, just a little bit different of a name. Um, look into this, and we have a great breakdown of what these records are and what they do for you. So um, keep that in mind. And that's it. You know, go ahead and uh, email us any questions you might have or, you know, like and subscribe to this post. Thank you so much.